Let's get some reaction and analysis now from government consultant Christoph Horstel. He's been to Syria recently, joining me live now there in Berlin. Well, with the rebels taking the fight first to Damascus and making quite an impact there, and now to the country's second city of Aleppo, are the tables turning against Assad now? Not now, I think. Maybe later. That remains to be seen. For now, we have to say that the attack on Damascus was pushed back very successfully. There are now single-house checks uh, in Damascus going on by the army, by the government army. And uh, what we have in Aleppo is, of course, a fight for the main, let's say, production and trade center. That is very serious for uh, Syria and the survival of the government. And uh, as for now, I'm quite confident the pushing back of the insurgents come terrorists will be successful. Uh, despite what you see as um, a forthcoming success, we have seen incredible success, though, from the rebels. But bearing in mind what we saw in Libya, it took, what, the rebels there months to overthrow Gaddafi, uh, even with overwhelming NATO air support. How do you think the Syrian rebels are making such an impact now uh, without this official direct foreign action that we saw in Libya? Well, that is not so difficult, unfortunately, to explain. We had an influx of one to two uh, times 10,000 fighters from uh, outside Syria into uh, Syria, mainly from Jordan and Lebanon recently. And these fighters have made their way uh, to Aleppo and to Damascus. We have a leading group of small, you know, uh, an attack teams, very highly trained, obviously. And to my best guess, with a Secret Service background sponsored by the USA. And of course, Christoph, amongst the opposition, the German government itself believes that Al Qaeda has uh, committed what something like nearly 100 terror attacks there in the country at the moment. And yet, Germany and the rest yeah. of NATO, they're still supporting these forces which are fighting against uh, Assad. You see, I have just read the original source of this, of this figure. That is the official answer of the German government uh, to a question of the leftist member of parliament in Germany, uh, Sevim Dagdelen. Now, this is quite interesting. They are talking about attacks and another line about big attacks. They are not talking about bomb attacks. So, and the, the government is obviously attributing uh, these 90 or so attacks uh, to, to Al Qaeda and 20 more attacks to unknown, uh, you know, attackers. So this kind of calculation to me seems to be very, you know, questionable. We don't know uh, exactly uh, that we can define Al Qaeda to, you know, heavy attacks. What we know is that Al Qaeda is a kind of army and not only, you know, special hit teams like, you know, American black ops operations or things like that, which are also active in the country. So what we have here is a, a game of, you know, unexplained uh, terms and words. And uh, to my feeling, uh, how to say, the attack uh, number of Al Qaeda personnel is much, much higher, 20 to 40 or 50 times higher than these 90 uh, just indicated by the government. But now it comes a big but. What is interesting is that the German government is talking about this at all. That is, you know, a slight uh, opening and it is also a little, you know, a disobedience towards uh, the United States of America. And that, in fact, has increased this disobedience of the German media uh, a little bit after the recent uh, meeting in May uh, between the Russian President Putin and the German Chancellor Merkel. And we have now something like up to 10 percent of, you know, disobedient publications in Germany, for example, uh, regarding the terrible uh, massacre in Al Hola. Uh, at the end of May. So, so, in effect, Germany and other countries are indirectly supporting the likes of al-Qaeda or jihadists or Islamic fundamentals, uh, fundamentalists in this chaos now that is occurring in Syria, which, of course, could mean that they could well, perhaps take over the power vacuum. So uh, th this is a major problem that, that the Western effect is perhaps supporting an Islamist takeover. Yeah, uh, this is in fact happening right now and we can assume very clearly, I mean, I, I receive private messages of members of family 
of soldiers, you know, doing service in Libya right now, without any official knowledge of the parliament, without any official knowledge of the, you know, control uh, people in the parliament for our secret services. So uh, that is quite interesting. And my best guess is that German personnel illegally and uh, secretly is also doing service in Syria right now. We have a hint recently here in the German uh, media and in, in some American critical media, they say that Germany is indulging, and this is officially acknowledged and, uh, and uh, you know, approved that this is true. Germany is illegally and without any you know, uh, mandate from the United Nations or so involved in setting up a new Syrian government for the times after the you know, uh, possible fall of the present President Assad. And uh, this involves, you know, the transport of opposition people from Syria into Germany, and that needs a network. So, in, in fact, uh, I think that network has a, you know, bridgehead in Syria. Interesting to hear your thoughts. Thank you very much indeed. Christoph Hostel joining me live there in Berlin. Thanks for being with us here on RT.